for several hours, uh, for several hours on Saturday. And it was really, really a, a neat thing to see everybody just giving up their time um, to help out. And uh, Mr. Alcasa was, was very touched and was visibly um, very appreciative of everyone who was out there for them and their family. And just, you know, just want to share that, you know, we, we did this not for publicity, not for any other reason than to help our, help our friends out. You know, that, that's what we do as scouts, right? So, you know, at the end of the day, don't get caught up in all the other stuff. And that's really, you know, we follow the scout oath and law and, and help other people at all times, right? That's one of the things we do. So it was really, um, really neat. And, you know, I, I never had the chance to, to know Sprinkles, as his dad said, was, was one of his nicknames for those who knew him from camp. Uh, but we will be asking about sprinkles and we'd like to hear some sprinkle stories for any of you who knew Josiah and who would like to share. I think that'd be really neat uh, before the end of the evening or just later, you know, anytime. That's that's how we keep our keep our friends alive. Right. You know, we, we literally will tell stories about them and, and talk about each other and in the best possible way, obviously, uh, without making too much fun of them. Um, a little bit of little bit of ribbons, okay. We just don't want to make fun of anybody that in any kind of mean way. But uh, at the end of the day, we're, we're here to help each other, and that's that's what we do. So uh, keep up the good work. I hope you guys have a good a good uh, month this coming month. We've got uh, popcorn start sale starting up. I'm sorry I missed that last night, and uh, lots of activities coming up October, November, December. We've got at least five, four or five big council activities coming up, and lots of training. So. We hope you guys all come out and, and take advantage of all those all those activities. We have more people coming in. We want to say thanks for being with us. Uh, uh, Dr. Margo, I appreciate you uh, uh, keeping us in line and uh, let us know what else we need to do to make things happen. Yeah, right now from, from a COVID standpoint, the uh, biggest thing is we're just trying to keep everybody safe as usual. and. Uh, CDC has really backed off a lot of their recommendations. Uh, or we'll have a risk management committee meeting before the next activity, which I believe is, should be spectacular if I if I got the calendar right. Besides the trainings, so that should be the next in-person big activity we have, and uh, we'll have we may have some additional recommendations. You know, just for now, again, continue with the monitoring. Right now, the COVID version we're seeing the the Omicron four and five um, are more of an upper respiratory type infection and they look more like uh, viral infections or, or just a little viral illness. So uh, if you have symptoms, stay home and uh, or, or send those scouts home and get, get them tested to make sure anybody else in contact with them might you know, may not be infected or may or may not be infected since it is much, much, much more transmissible than the previous versions. The only good thing is it doesn't seem to get people as sick. So, and a lot of that could be because everybody's, you know, most everybody's vaccinated. So that, that's made a huge, huge difference. I'll take any questions if anybody has any questions. If not, I'll, I'll let, let you run the show, Mike. Okay, sir. Any questions? Uh, I'm gonna check the chat. Hey, Dr. Too early to say anything about the vaccine and whether you're taking or not? As far as which, which I guess if, um, like a, another dose, Oscar, is that what you're asking? Like a, a third, a fourth dose? Well, for some of us, it's the fifth dose. But, you know, they're, they, they've come, they've just approved one. And is it too early to say who's going to get it? I know they're saying it's going to be for everybody. But uh, I guess it never hurts to take it if you've already taken it. Yeah, I don't, I can honestly, I haven't read anything about this last dose, so I can't, uh, I can't give any advice one way or the other at this point. I saw a monkeypox uh, that reached the valley. Is that a concern for us? At this point, I don't think so. But uh, again, any kind of any kind of sores, any kind of um, skin infections should definitely be looked at. Any other questions for the doctor? He's got to be in a president meeting, so we don't want him to miss that. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right.
Well, thank you, doctor. And uh, yes. uh, if you do anything, we'll be here for a while. And, okay, we'll do. Thank you. And thank you, doctor. Bye. Okay. So well, welcome, everybody. Appreciate y'all being here. Uh, let's uh, look at the uh, uh, agenda just to know, let you know that I did create one. We do have some things you need to do. And let's go ahead and uh, uh, take care of one of the issues, and that's the uh, Pledge of Allegiance. We always want to uh, make sure we get that in. So I'm going to uh, stop share and open up uh, the share again to, to go to the pledge. And uh, that way, hopefully, it'll show on your screen. But well, please join me and uh, pop, hop in and do the oath of law, if you will, please. Uh, uh, let's. Uh, uh, you might want to mute your microphone so it's not a big uh, ragamadoo, but uh, uh, let's uh, salute our flag and then the uh, scout oath and law. Scout salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Two. There we go. We'll do the uh, oath of law. I mean, she might. On my honor, I will do my best to do my duty to God and my country and to obey the scout law, to help other people at all times, to keep myself physically strong, mentally awake, and morally straight the scout law. A scout is trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, Courteous, kind, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, brave, clean, clean, and reverent. Thank you. We'll skip the code for right now. Folks, thank you again. Uh, uh, There's uh, uh, more folks have come in. Uh, Ada did indicate that she's on the road and can uh, listen for the moment, but uh, uh, someone may want to help with the uh, scout room breakout. Uh, let's go back to our uh, uh, agenda. Uh, Dr. Margo has already indicated his uh, sc- council health. There is a uh, uh, safety moment we do want to quickly cover. Uh, it's, uh, it's just not it. That one here. Sorry if I'm bouncing around. There we go. Where do I put that? Too many windows open. And of course, my mouse has decided to start giving me problems. In the meanwhile, Mr. Henry, please, uh, all the units, can you put your put your unit? Uh, aside your name, please, so I can uh, check the attendance. Patty, can you admit the folks that are coming in too? Uh, some battery here. I've got to get some batteries. Mike, are you CAC or or troop for 4031? He's troop. Got it. Thank you. Sorry, guys. I'm having trouble with my battery of a mouse.
Ja. My apologies, else is just not going to work. Double, you got a double. There we go. I'm sorry, folks. This is frustrating. <laughs> Got a fresh battery in there now. I have a couple of folks coming in, so give me just a moment here. Okay. So uh, I was going to talk to you about the uh, safe, uh, safe flyer, and uh, that's not what's up. It's something else. I might as well talk about this. Uh, in recruiting, uh, there are uh, material out there for recruiting uh, for each level, and you'll notice that the uh, Adventure on this is one for scouts, uh, but there are uh, also uh, I don't know you aren't seeing it. I'm sorry. And you should see this is a, a campaign kit uh, for the uh, uh, scouts PSA. There is one also for the Cub Scouts, the Boy Scouts, and uh, the uh, uh, other uh, type of the units. Let me. Uh, see here. There you go. Uh, on the scouting wire, uh, if you go to scouting wire, uh, there's a uh, scoutingwire.org. Uh, the the uh, something was a little back. There we go. This is scoutingwire.org. If you just put that, this is an enormous amount of resources for recruiting. Can you see the scouting wire uh, page? Okay, okay. So, uh, and it has lots of information up to date. Uh, but up here, this is the important part, the marketing and brand center. Uh, either one is good. If you click on the brand center, uh, when it comes up, uh, it uh, will come up with the, uh, when it comes up, Okay. It's all fake. Okay, so see, this one is Cub Scouts. Uh, and you click on that, and it'll take you to recruiting resources for Cub Scouts. Fake. There's Boy Scouts, uh, mentoring, uh, information, okay, Sea Scouts, exploring. Uh, they're all here on this page, and the National okay, Jamboree as well. So each one of these uh, is uh, very uh, helpful. Uh, the uh, recruiting. Uh, the, we're also going to talk. We're also going to talk about the uh, uh, membership fees. It went up uh, August first, uh, seventy-five dollars a year for for uh, uh, the Cub Scout, Boy Scout, Venturing, Sea Scout the $25 to join if they are brand new, uh, it, it would be the 75 and the 25 uh, to join. Uh, the uh, exploring units, uh, the membership is $45 a year as well as for adults and uh, non-unit participants. Uh, participants. Uh, charter fee is $100 now and the, the Scout Life Magazine fee went up to $15 a year from the $12 a year. So I uh, hope you're able to see that. Uh, it is again available on that scouting.wire. This chart is <coughs> scoutingwire.com. Uh, the important thing right now, and I'll try to put these uh, into the chat uh, as uh, the, the charter goes on. I mean, our, our meeting goes on. But there's also information on uh, regarding the rechartering that's coming up. And I know Patty's going to talk about that. Uh, so I'm going to give her the opportunity to do so. But I have the page open. And I'll put that link in the chat right now for you. Well, Patty, go ahead and uh, talk about the uh, 
free charter coming up. So Patty, will you unmute and talk about? <clears throat> Can you hear me, yeah. Patty? Oh. Yes, sir. Yes, I hear you. Uh, well, you want me to talk about recharter? Yes, please. Okay. Uh, good, uh, good evening, everybody. I just want to let you know um, that uh, through our commissioners, we've been sending you or you will be receiving a charter, a recharter for 2023. 20, it's a timeline. Actually, it started yesterday. If you have not received it, please let us know. Let, let me know or uh, get to uh, contact your, your unit or district commissioner. You should be receiving that information because you need to meet with your commissioner and uh, your commissioner is gonna guide you through the recharter um, process. In the meanwhile, us as commissioners, we're going to be uh, reviewing some of the material that nationalists has been sending us uh, in order to help you. It's very important that please let us know who's your commissioner. Or you don't, if you don't know who's your commissioner, contact me or contact Mr. Henry. Okay. Uh, there are several commissioners here and uh, available. I know uh, Joel's here, uh, uh, Mr. Benavides is here, Ms. Torres is here, uh, myself and Mr. Henry. Please, uh, it's very important that you follow this uh, timeline. Uh, we want you, uh, there's new changes. Uh, uh, it's easier, it's much, much easier. It was easier last year. It's going to be much easier this time, but uh, one of the thing is that uh, you're going to have to uh, go through your membership, understand that if uh, one of your leaders are not YPT, or the whole unit is going to won't be able to rechart. Okay, so uh, that's why we're trying uh, for you to uh, uh, check your membership, uh, talk to your unit commissioner, check your plans, check your GT, so you can have everything ready for next year. Uh, do you have any questions? Okay, Mr. Henry. I, I, I have a question. Yes, sir. Uh, will you, these packets, will they have a recharter code or anything like that? Uh, or do we don't need one anymore? No, we the record, they, they, uh, you go into my, your, to the scouting, I'm sorry, scout book and click on internet recharter uh, once the season mm -hmm. opens. It hasn't opened okay. yet, but once the uh, season opens, the lower left hand corner of your, uh, your internet uh, uh, advancement on uh, through scout book, uh, it will have a, a link to that for just for the key three. Only the th key three will have uh, access to that and anybody they uh, use as a key three delegate. But the only one should be using it. But uh, uh, the there is no code. You, you you log in with your scout, the same as your scout book in myscouting.org to get to the internet free charter. Okay. More questions. Again, uh, we can't emphasize enough how important it is that you get in touch with us. We'll, we're making, we're, we're, ju we're just a few of us. Uh, we're trying to uh, serve all the units in the council. Uh, we're short of commissioners, but we're trying to do our best. Uh, but if you don't, uh, Ask, if you don't tell us that you haven't been re reached by your uh, commissioner, we don't know, okay? Uh, so please, uh, uh, I'm gonna just uh, say, uh, for Arrowhead, Joel is your district commissioner. There's Joel, Joel Salinger. For Rio Bravo, Noel Benavides is your commissioner, your district commissioner. Uh, uh, we also have Ms. Torres, she's the unit commissioner for Arrowhead. Uh, we're lacking, uh, we're, 
we don't have a commissioner for Arroyo, so Mr. Henry and myself are going to take Arroyo. And for Tipo Tex, we have Ada Trevino. I think I saw Ada. Oh, there she is. She's your district commissioner for uh, Tipo Tex. So please reach out to us. It's very important that you have this information. Questions? Yes, yes, Mr. Salinger. You're muted. <laughs> Good to have me muted. Uh, <laughs> yeah. If you're a unit in, a, in whatever. Uh, oh, you'll need to be closer to the mic. I'm sorry. Oh, closer to the mic. <laughs> this is going to be fun tonight. The uh, if you don't know who your your unit commissioner is, contact your district commissioner. You'll know, or she or she will know who it is, and can get you in touch with them. Uh, and and please do. Uh, you can reach us by going onto the uh, council webpage. You'll find our email and possibly even a phone number to call us. So that needs to be done. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Salinger. Mr. Huerta, you had a question. Yeah, do you know if the council will be implementing a council fee no. this year? No. no. Okay. 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 Uh, we'll be here if you have any questions or if you want to know who's your commissioner. We'll we'll try to figure out uh, now that we have you all here. Thank you, Mr. Henry. Okay, I'm uh, working on uh, on the agenda. It mentions the you, you only got a chance to see it a little bit, but there's uh, uh, some new items out that uh, I wanted to share with you, and then they're going in through the uh, uh, chat screen right now uh, for the uh, God Duty God uh, and uh, is new brochures and. Uh, so those are going into your chat right now. Uh, the web pages uh, have been updated, and uh, uh, there's a lot of information uh, that's new on the uh, the prayer organization uh, for the different uh, 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 religious emblems uh, that uh, uh, will be helpful in your working with the scouts and the, the churches. Uh, and the, the, the religious organizations to uh, develop the uh, uh, opportunity for a scout to have uh, the duty to God. I'm sorry, I'm trying to find uh, something here to bring up. Okay, so uh, we'll talk about that a little bit. Uh, there are some, uh, uh, again, we talked about the recharter resources and so forth. I showed that to you and I've also put the links in the uh, council in the uh, uh, chat for that. Uh, so, and I did not get to do the safe, but it's uh, uh, one of the, the in the safety moments on our national website. Uh, we're going to go ahead and give you a few minutes to uh, to break uh, for the uh, breakout rooms, and uh, well, let's try to come back at uh, seven fifty, and we'll talk to the different. Uh, uh, leaders that are here, if we can. Oh, uh, I know Oscar said he was driving and wanted to go ahead and uh, see if we could get in first. So, Oscar, if you're still there. I'm here, Mr. Henry. Thank you. Um, good evening, everybody. A uh, couple of things. Our, our Jamboree group is, is progressing nicely. We have the scouts and we have the adult leaders. The Payment schedule is now live, so that should be available. There'll be emails going out for all those I've talked to. Um, if you've registered, there, there seems to be some conflicting information about early registration being 31st of October. That's just because they're so far behind on, on registration. But any of the scouts that have already registered, they're good to go. They can go ahead and start paying. I'm, I will send out an email to all those I've spoken to to do that. That's an aggressive plan that we need to catch up. First payment is due soon, and it's 500. After that, there'll be $300 payments. 
Our biggest thing right now that we're waiting on for the cost of the Jamboree is, is what our, our airfare is gonna be. The airfare comes in lower than what we've estimated. That price could come down a little bit, which is good. The other thing, which everybody already knows as September 1 rolls around, we're, we're a, few, a few short months away from my favorite uh, time, the best time of year, winter camp. Winter camp's gonna be even that much more important for those scouts that are going to Jamboree that aren't quite first class. They'll be able to knock out those first class requirements that road to first class. I've already had some counselors already starting to contact me that we'll have some additional new classes that'll be available. As per usual, winter camp runs December 26th through the 30th, starting classes half day on the 26th, and then leaving camp, breaking camp, and on your way home between four and five o'clock on the 30th. It's worked out well. We've been able to accomplish a lot. I think this year's camp is gonna be one of those, those camps that I'm gonna really try to require all those going to Jamboree that need that long-term camp. It'll be one of their one of one of their requirements. That way, we're able to bond from that. As well. But if anybody has any questions, everybody knows how to get a hold of me. Just let's move forward. It's September. It's that time of year when we start getting busy. So I look forward to working with all of you. Okay. Thank you, Oscar. Appreciate that. We uh, are looking forward to those opportunities. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and do the breakout rooms uh, and uh, take a little bit of time to uh, cover what uh, uh, the, those leaders feel should be covered. Uh, if you need help, uh, tell me who you are and how it's described on the uh, screen and I'll move you over there. But you should be able to move yourself. The rooms are, breakout rooms are open again. Come back at 7.50. And I'll go ahead and move you over. I know you're going to need that. Mr. Henry, will you please move me to the Cub Scout? Okay. Breakout. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Ben, uh, you want to go to Cub Scouts? My grace should be joining us too. Okay. Uh, Joan Sanchez, uh, uh, what unit are you with? And uh, Cub or Boy or Scouts? Joan Sanchez, hit to unmute. Yes, uh, with Troop 73. So in the scouting. Uh, Yes, I'm with uh, my husband, Pedro Ibarra, as, as well. And who is that? Troop 73. Yeah, I just, the, uh, na uh, her, she said a name, but I didn't get it. Is Ozuna? Uh, no, it was the. Oh. How about the Azuna and Lily of Pettis, Morales? Where do you want to go? I Cub? Cub? Oh, Scouts BSA exploring? I think, I think Miss Osuna is Cub, Cub Scouts. Thanks. Okay. Lily Morales. Patty. Hi, Mr. Henry, how are you? Hi, Lily. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm having difficulty kind of. Would you like to go into one of the breakout rooms? Cub or Scouts? Which one, which breakout room? 
uh, there's there's Cub Scouts, there's uh, Scouts BSA, and there's uh, Exploring, Venturing, Sea Scouts. There's three breakout rooms, whichever one you'd like to go to. We're doing, but I did have a, a question and I didn't uh, ask them to ask you. Okay. Yes, go. For Denver. Okay, well, Oscar. I don't like Oscar dropped. Like Oscar. Oscar dropped off. He was driving. Sorry. Oscar dropped off. He he left the meeting. He was driving. So. Okay. Okay. I'm going to just again for okay, yeah. Jamboree, and then we'll. Uh, Sorry, uh, am I cutting? Yeah, you're you're cutting out a lot. I'm sorry. Am I cutting? Okay, well that's okay. I will. Um, I'll email. Uh, tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, you came in good that last finish. <laughs> okay. Thank you. All right, Lily. Take care. Now, Ada, Ada is not able to join. I guess. I don't know if they're by themselves over there at the... No, well, Joel's in there, I see, in the scouts PSA. Oh, okay. Michael Hall. Michael's the important one right now, I think. Trip 84 is there. 73 is with Michael. Hi, Mr. Henry, they don't put the, their numbers and I'm kind of confused here. I have one pack 84, one, two for pack 80, uh, 33, one for pack 260, two for pack 200, the 500, and I have two for troop 76. Uh, one for troop 80, 84, one for troop 4031 and 24 troop 73. I saw Miss uh, Hink something uh, like Yeah, that's uh, one of our old scouts, uh, Hick. That's his, uh, his mom. Remember, we had a, a, I can't remember his name, Hick, that was in the troop. That's his mom. Oh, yes. <laughs> that's his mom. His little brother's in that pen. And that's probably Gonzalez. Okay. 330, I believe. So I, I, I delete the Ozunas that pack 500. Pack 500? Uh huh. And Pedro Ibarra is troop 73. In the, in the chat, uh -huh. they put that in. So because I have one, two, three, four units with two members mm -hmm. each. Okay. It's a big tie. Well, let's do this. Uh, the, I see. Uh, well, it's still two. I was going to say the ones that put their the number on their name would be the meters, mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, you got two five hundreds, two thirty threes. And what unit was Yvonne with? Which which one? The Yvonne, what is it? Yvonne, Y-V-O-N-N-D. Yvonne. I think it was 73, Troop 70, 
Mr. Henry, I don't know how to do it. Well, um, I would say is thirty three one before. 33, I, I've seen new ones. Pack 33, troop 73, pack 260. Ah, no, but they just won. Just one king. Oh, what I'm thinking is they're, they're a newer pack, so 33 might be. Might be the one? Be, be uh, a leader. In my book anyway. Okay, so we'll give it to pack 33. I would say yes. Okay. Judge one. <laughs> so that's got a lot going on. Good. We've got, mm -hmm. got a pretty good sentence. Let's see here. We got Sixteen in attendance. That's good. So that's, that's better than what I was afraid it's going to be. We still have a couple of uh oh five hundred just has two in the waiting has a. One in the rating room. So, that, that so they're the winners. Yeah, that will put them. Uh, Ramirez Zeb, I'm not sure who he is. The, uh, so Tanya. Wow. They, they, really, they really want to keep the chachos <laughs> with them. <laughs> yeah. So that one. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put Tanya in the Cub Scouts. Uh, and Zeb Ramirez, Ramirez EB. I'm not sure who that is. Hasn't joined yet or has. Yeah, he's in. But we need to know. Uh, uh, well, I know who that is. That's Ed Ramirez. Eddie, Edward. Oh, Eddie. How you doing? So, 84. Pack 84, right? Or okay. 83. You can unmute there, Eddie. Yeah, you probably want to go into the Cub Scout breakout room. Uh, uh, Noel is uh, uh, talking about the, the Spookerama. Okay, I can't hear you. We'll send you there. There you go. Well, we pack pack eighty three, right, or eighty four? Okay. I think he's eighty three. Let me look. I think it's eighty three. Because eighty four is uh, out of mission. Oh, well, they're both out of mission. Okay, Mr. Ong, you quit talking. He's, he hasn't been able to move it yet. Let's see. Can you look at my my scouting? Patty, do you know who uh, there's a 
note is out there for uh, training for uh, rec uh, rec recruiting, recruiting the training. It said it was, uh, I was on Facebook, something like uh, uh, Rudy put up on Facebook. Do you know who's teaching that? No, no, I, I haven't seen that. He put it in Facebook? Yeah. It was a uh, training and it was the 15th or so of each month through the end of the year. Hmm. I'll, I'll check that. Edward Ramirez is uh, 83, back 83. 83, okay. So there's a new feature now that says hold B to broadcast your voice to breakout rooms. So oh. uh, 750, 749, I don't know, I'm going to say. Uh, no, oh, there, Eddie, Eddie made it. Let's see if he's in the cover room. Uh, Eddie didn't make it to the cub breakout. Oh, darn. So I'm going to give it a try. <laughs> <laughs> This is to let you know we have one minute left in our breakout rooms. Please come back. Yeah. Take advantage of the features here. <laughs> <laughs> so we got uh, the the two camperees and uh, the uh, wood badge and uh, commissioners. Uh, Joel, I, I I I give Julian and Rudy an opportunity to come in and make statements on the agenda, but neither of them are here, so. Oh, okay. If you've, if you've heard anything that they've talked about, go let us know. Hey, Mike. Hey, Michael. Hey, uh, um, for, the, for the wood badge? Yes, sir. For the wood badge, can you go in and delay the late fee for signing up for another week? Uh, okay, uh, so you, uh, you want the the last date to be when? Well, that'd be um, Friday or Saturday next week. If we don't have 30 by Saturday next week, I think, I don't know, I have to talk to the council, so what we're doing. Okay. But okay, need, but we, need, we need to try to do a strong push if we can, for, but if we get anybody signed up by for next okay. week. Okay, well, I'm going to give you, everybody's on the, on the uh, horn now uh, has, has come back except for Oscar. Uh, he's trying to get back in. Uh, but uh, you go ahead and talk about web badge and tell us uh, uh, how it's going and what they need to do. Yeah. Um, for the training that's coming up, web badge training? Yes, sir. Oh, uh, yeah. It's, it's uh, you're talking to everybody. Leadership. You're talking to everybody. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's a leadership. Uh, course. Um, it's highly recommended to take this course after leadership. Uh, a lot of people uh, spend tons of money on this class. It's the same thing as the business at atmosphere, uh, how to be a leader and all that. So we just put a perspective in a scale environment, but all the all the types of how to be a leader and uh, communication wise and all that is in this training. 
and it's a great training for everybody. I think most of you guys are, are wood badge already, but if we haven't taken wood badge, I believe uh, I'm trying to hold off um, the late fee probably to next week because we need to have at least 30 people registered to have this course up and running. We don't have it in, should have it in October 7th, 8th, and 9th. And I believe it's 22nd, 23rd. It's a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and a Saturday and Sunday. So it's a five day course coming up. Uh, the cost is $280. It's a great course, great training, and everything like that. Uh, we're trying to see, we're doing, trying to do the mad late rush to see who's going to participate this, this week. If we don't have the numbers by the, uh, next week, we might have to postpone this course. So please, if you have anybody that's out there that's thinking about it, please have them sign up for this course. Uh, it, it, you have to be a leader, registered leader. Um, you can be a mayor badge counselor, or a community member, or a cub master, or a den leader, any type of leader is great, especially with the Cub Scout, Cub Scout leading is a great training for them. So. Uh, so Mr. Hall, Mr. Hall, how, uh, I, I lost my, my thought. Uh, how, what's the due date? Um, if I need to, I need to have our numbers set. I need to have at least 30 participants by October, by uh, September 7th, which is next week. It's next Wednesday. How, how many are yeah. Oh, uh, well, if we, if we do by, uh, if we get the question to Friday, it'd be great. Let's see how many, uh, I think we have maybe seven <laughs> sign up. For the action participants. So I don't know if everybody's just waiting for the last minute. I know I talked to a lot of people. They said they're interested, but they haven't signed up yet. And it's important that they do because uh, there is a lot of uh, money that is required to be spent in preparation for the course. And uh, the, the 30 days out is uh, uh, nationals policy. Uh, we must have 30. Uh, to create the course, uh, and there's no and you, option in that. And you said seven have signed up? Yes, in the books right now, I have seven, seven leaders signed up. So if we have 22, 20, 23 more leaders signed up by next week, we can could, we could have the course. I know I've been advertising, I know a lot of people that's been waiting. I've been hitting the mentoring crew, I've, the 18 year olds. I've been asking them, they said they want to do it, but they haven't signed up. So it's, yeah, this is the first course since uh, COVID struck us. So uh, uh, there are a lot of yeah. people out there that sh uh, should be uh, interested in taking it. Uh, it is a, a mountaintop experience. Uh, and uh, when you come out of it, uh, uh, you are an experienced leader uh, in scouting. and. Uh, it's also something that uh, you, your business, uh, your, your uh, personal life, there's a lot of uh, skills that you learn uh, that uh, are uh, well used and uh, uh, against your spouse, uh, whatever. <laughs> uh, it's a great course, a mountaintop experience. And not only that, it's all the friendship you make and uh, all the research you have. Uh, most, uh, some of us that were here right now had taken that course and uh, talked to us and we'll let you know, uh, not only we learn a lot, but we have a lot of fun also. So we highly recommend that you take this course. It's a very, very nice course. Okay, thank you, Mike. Uh, uh, anything else, you, any last comments? We'll go on to, to uh, Noel and the... Uh, uh, Spookerama, spookery. Anything, Mike? Okay. Um, can you still hear me? Or? Yes, sir. 
Okay. Yeah, just, if they have any questions, just please contact me. If you have someone want to pay for you, just let us know. Like another sponsor, your companies could pay for you or something like that. Just let me know. Okay, if you're working for a company that wants to pay for you, you can ask them if you're short of money. That's another way to get in there. Just tell them about the information about this leadership course. It can help out a lot. That's it. Thank you. Mike, can you put your email in the, uh, in the chat? Yeah, uh, somebody did. Position. E yeah. <laughs> e email and phone. Okay. Right. Thank you, Mike. And uh, everybody, uh, the talk to folks, uh, uh, the, anybody you know that would benefit from this, uh, tell them that it's an important uh, opportunity for them in scouting. It's uh, one of the highest courses available. Uh, Noel, talk about uh, Cub, Cub Scouts. I know you did it in the breakout room, but you know, some of the Boy Scout leadership might want to help out. As you know, the Cub Scouts are probably the ones that have the most fun. So, <laughs> do, you, do you all see the pumpkin? I'm just kidding. Um, I just want to break uh, the mold of things and try to liven up our our, our room. And uh, that's one thing that also I'll throw in a plug for, for Michael Hall. Um, Wood Badge, I guess kind of brings the best out of you and just makes you realize how much scouting is uh, a lot of fun and it uh, it builds good relationships and great bonds. But uh, I, I digress, but uh, I'll jump into to our uh, our fall cup adventure. We uh, we had one last year and uh, we had a lot of fun. Um, a lot of the scouts helped out, which made it even more fun because they were the ones in charge of our uh, our spooky trails. And a lot of all our Cub Scouts loved it. Like that's one thing that they, of course, talk about the most, um, the, the spooky trails. Of course, the activities are a lot of fun, but I don't know what it is about being scared that uh, our, our little Cub Scouts love. And we want to do the same thing again this year. It'll be October 29th, uh, that Saturday. And uh, with the option of, of course, spending the night and leaving uh, that Sunday. And uh, we have a, uh, an awesome program for our, our Cub Scouts. We have, of course, uh, an awesome patch and shirt that goes along with it. Uh, we hopefully, once uh, we're finalizing everything, I just need to, to move our budget to uh, a different format and just send it to, to Rudy and Ruby. And uh, we've been working with uh, finalizing everything for our patch and shirt and uh, just getting everything set up. We're hopefully putting it on the calendar within these next few days, if all goes well. So that way you all can register and register your, your, your packs. And um, if this also includes our troops, if any of the, the, the scouts want to help out, we are, of course, always in need of, uh, of our, our, our scouts helping out, like I said, with either our, our spooky trails or with our activities that we have planned out. We're always in need of help. So please let me know. I'll put in my phone number in the chat. Um, if not, whoever you want to contact, I'm sure they have my number, uh, but I'll put my phone number uh, on the chat so that way you all can, uh, you know, there you go. That's, uh, that's the, the patch and shirt that, uh, that we, we, we selected. We have a committee of, I believe it's either 10 or 12, and uh, we're gonna be meeting, of course, again on, uh, I think it's September 7th, if I'm not mistaken, it's this, this upcoming Wednesday. Um, and uh, that way we can just finalize everything and, and just officially put the, the responsibilities and duties for, for all our leaders that are helping out. But if any of y'all wanna help out by all means, just let me know. Uh, and just contact me and that way we can add you to our to our list. But we're planning on having lots of fun uh, for the grownups and uh, our Cub Scouts. So hope to see you all there. And uh, hopefully the weather will be nice and cool so we can all have a great time. So thank you, guys. Thank you, Noel. Uh, Patty, uh, Chris, I don't see... Uh... Uh, Luis uh, Miranda here. Y'all want to talk about the, uh, the 
Campery. Chris? Chris, are you there? Yes, sorry, trying to <laughs> Uh, I know that we're also um, pretty close. Um, I think we pretty much finalized everything. Uh, most of the information, including the leader's guide should already be on the website. Uh, I know it's gonna be on November 11th, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I, I know that they also, if you look closely on the leader's guide, they did change a couple. I think that they're talking about, and it sounds very exciting. They wanna do the, the little, Go kart, or remember back in the day they used to do those little races with the little, I believe you call them like the little go karts, right? And also, I think that they tweaked the burning, the little wood burning. Um, this time, I think that they're going to try and do the boiling of the water just to change it up a little bit and make it a little, little bit more fun and interesting for the scouts. But all the information should already be on the council website. Uh, as well as contact. And I believe, uh, if I'm not mistaken, a registration opened last week. But join us. <laughs> the uh, other thing that uh, uh, Dr. Margo mentioned last night that the uh, uh, popcorn uh, kickoff was done, uh, we had some technical difficulties with the recording. Uh, so we're going to. Uh, 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 Francisco is going to do that tomorrow again. Uh, we'll record it and then we'll publish it for everybody to, to, to see at their leisure. Uh, but the popcorn sales are, are ready to get started and uh, Cisco's not here as far as I can tell. Uh, but uh, uh, we'll have that uh, information on the on a, uh, email. It will be on our YouTube channel uh, uh, as, as a presentation and uh, 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 that'll be soon. Uh, like I said, tomorrow we're going to be doing a Zoom recording of it so we can post it on YouTube. And this will be on YouTube on our uh, River and Council YouTube channels as well. Uh, so that concludes everything that, except for the commissioners. And uh, Patty, uh, I, uh, did we get a, a winner for the, uh, the attendance? Oh, yes, Mr. Henry. It looks like our chachos do not want to leave. I, I think they're very happy on where they are. So again, it's pack 500 that got the chachos this year. <laughs> You're, they don't want to leave you. Woo -woo! Congratulations. Woo -woo! Congratulations. They, they love our, uh, our dog and our cat. We have them here. No, they love it. <laughs> you have to to send the picture next time show us a picture next time so we can see it where you have it no honestly no we have uh good leaders who are willing to come in every week or every month to uh to our round table because uh like we need we need people here participating so uh really <laughs> appreciate that it's, no, so yeah. helpful. it's so helpful thank you everybody thank you Thank you. Thanks for the yes. good word. Spread the word. <laughs> yes, thank you. And uh, if you see other leaders from other troops, other other units, please let them know that it's very important that they come to the round table uh, because this is where you're getting firsthand information. Okay. And uh, it's updated every month. And uh, Mr. Henry puts a lot of work on that. And the commissioners are always looking for good ideas to, to share with you. So uh, share the share the the word and let and let them know. Besides, it's part of your GTE. You have to attend so many uh, roundtables to uh, uh, to be uh, on your GTE performance. So back to you, Mr. Henry. Thanks, guys. I appreciate everything. Uh, we uh. uh know that uh, you know we're all getting kind of tired of the the zoom but uh, this is an opportunity for us to get together and talk to the guys that are in charge of the activities and and and, and get questions answered that you may have and find out what the latest is uh, the uh, uh, calendar is uh, is behind but uh, uh, 
we know that uh, we've had some problems with the website. Uh, uh, they've made some changes at uh, the, the owners of the website and it uh, has thrown things off for a little bit. We're working on getting that restored. Uh, the information as far as what's on the calendar, as soon as I get information from the, the leaders, I, I start getting it on there. Uh, uh, it, it is me now. Uh, it's not uh, anybody else doing the calendar. And uh, so if you're interested in being a, a helper with uh, uh, things like the, new, the monthly newsletter and that sort of thing, uh, a one-man show is not the way it's going to get done. Uh, but uh, uh, if, if the districts want to go ahead and start having their own roundtable, there's nothing wrong with that. Go ahead and do it in person. But I think we'll continue this until uh, we get, do get the, the uh, districts uh, doing their own roundtables uh, uh, on a monthly basis. And we'll do this. If they start doing it that way, we'll just do this quarterly uh, or every other month. Uh, but uh, it's, uh, it's, it is important that we get the information out. And this is one of the, 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 the most uh, robust ways of getting you, the individual leader, talking to whoever's putting on the event. And so uh, we always offer it to all our, our event leaders. And uh, you see uh, who show up are the ones that uh, are interested in seeing that their things uh, do get uh, done and happen. So I uh, appreciate every one of you. Uh, we're going to get out. Uh, a little before 8.15 tonight, unless somebody else uh, has a, another comment uh, uh, they'd like to make. Uh, Mike, um, we have the Scout Master training on September 17th and the Cub Master training on the September 24th. Yeah, so uh, if you guys, uh, if your leaders need to get trained, uh, please attend these uh, Leader, uh, these trainings is yeah. Cub Master Cub, Cub Leaders is on the twenty fourth, and I believe the Scout Master positions is on the seventeenth. Seventeenth, and that'll cover uh, uh, Scout Master and uh, the uh, committee members as well. So. Uh, um, Mr. Henry, just really quick, I just wanted to say that we had a great uh, religious uh, retreat uh, this past weekend. Uh, we had close to 100 scouts attend, uh, ranging from Cub Scouts all the way, I think, to Ventures, working on their Light of Christ, Pobudi Day, Adaltari Day, and uh, their Pope Pius the 12th. It was a great event, and uh, hopefully we'll, uh, we'll have another one next year and hopefully have our scouts get the religious emblem so that way we can give it to them on Scout Sunday. So, all right. thank you. Way to go. Thank you. And there's that. I'll go to that web page for the uh, the the pray. There's so many new resources on there that really uh, uh, make uh, make it much uh, easier. And there's also a blog that they have on there that you may be interested in. Okay. So uh, with that, uh, one more time. Anybody else have a comment? If Yes, me, Mr. Henry. Uh, Mr. Hall, uh, Mike, uh, this training for the Scoutmaster and Cupmaster is going to be the live one? Yes, live. It's probably going to be at Camp, uh, Camp Perry and then oh, training, okay. training classes. Okay, and they have to register through the council, right? At the yes. calendar. It's on okay. the calendar. Yes. Okay, perfect. One more thing before Mr. Henry. Please, 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 please reach out to your commissioners. If you don't know who's your commissioner, call me, okay? Or call any of any of our commissioners here. We will we'll get you to the right one. Thank you. All right, Joel, can I impose upon you to to offer the closing prayer? Yes. Next meeting, October sixth. Sorry. Let's take our thoughts to the Lord here. Heavenly Father, you've uh, allowed us to come together as units that, that fall under your, your guise, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, for our safety. We thank you, Lord, for our leadership, uh, both at a, at a national level, but also at a council level, as well as a unit level. Be with each and every one of us. We go back to our units, go back to our families, and bring us back safely. Praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs>